Welcome back guys for another Dokkan Battle video and today we're going to be talking about every single unit that you need uh, for the LR Frieza EZA. So hopefully this video is going to be more of me like trying to convince you guys in order to uh, you know farm up Frieza, get them all the way to SA20, uh, you know also farm these units in order to get Frieza because I think Frieza is an absolutely amazing unit. He's absolutely worth it and I think overall you know, he's easily one of the best free-to-play LRs that you can actually obtain, uh, you know, over here on Global Dokkan. So, overall, we're just going to be quickly going over the units that you need. I'll explain where you can farm them up um, and the relative, you know, like, difficulty um, you have to have in order to, you know, get these guys rainbowed and all that good stuff. So, first up is Bardock. So, Bardock, um, again, is a free-to-play uh, unit. He is an SR that you can farm up in the story event that is currently out now. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, good Christ. Thank you. Oh, good Lord. Anyways, back to Bardock. So, Bardock is a free to play SR. Um, and because he's an SR, you have to farm um, five um, SR Bardocks. Only one of them has to be SA level 10. You have to farm five. Um, SR Bardock, so you have to get him all to SSR and take the one that's SA level 10, get him to an ultra rare, and then feed the SSRs into the ultra rare. Um, I accidentally made the mistake of ultra raring the one that was, you know, super attack level 1 out of 1, so I then had to waste um, more resources than necessary in order to get him to SA level 10, which is honestly my biggest regret. I don't want to farm another Bardock. I don't want to farm the metals again. It was way too much work, and I just don't have the patience for that. So, again, don't do what I do. Again, make sure you keep track of the one that's um, SA level 10 so you can use that one. Uh, again, Bardock after ZZA, just to kind of quickly go over him, I would say he's more attack-oriented, because uh, if we take a look at his both super attack and passive, again, his leader skill is basically arbitrary. It's just giant form 4 key 77%, but again, no one runs giant form. So again, on his super attack, he does raise attack and defense for one turn, so I would go full additionals for him. Uh, he gets 3 key and 77% attack and defense at the start of turn. He gets another 77% attack when facing 2 or more enemies, so he would be decent, I would say, if you're free to play for Super Battle Road in that aspect. And then he gets another 3 key and 77% attack when he's fighting a Wicked Bloodline category enemy. Um, so again, if you want to get his full passive, I would say you take him to the Dokkan event where um, Cooler... Uh, cooler's Dokkan event, uh, but Metal Cooler, because again, there's a section where you fight more than one enemy, and they're all Wicked Bloodline, so again, if you want to see his full power, um, and I might even make a showcase on him as well, so again, that's where you'll be able to get his full uh, passive active. And then moving on is Krillin, so again, there are a lot of uh, units on Krillin, um, but again, this one is a decent option if you do not have the LR Prime Battle Krillin, which again, I would say, get that LR Prime Battle Krillin farmed up. Uh, full SA level 20. He's an absolutely amazing unit. So this Krillin is all types 3 key 50%. Again, link skill is uh, not link skill, but leader skill is arbitrary. It basically is meaningless. Uh, super attack, he also raises attack and defense for one turn, which is really, really good. His passive is 70% attack and defense. So already very, very decent uh, a started turn buffs. He has a high chance of guarding all attacks within the same turn as the first attacker in the turn. Uh, this is the part where I think they should have just given him guaranteed guard if he was the first attacker in the turn, but again, high chance is 50%, so you have a moderate, uh, decent rate of actually seeing that being active. Personally, I don't even have this guy fully easy, fully Dokkan Awaken. I'm still working on Bardock, because again, Bardock's easy area, just to actually quickly go back to him, I think Bardock's easy area is going to be easily the hardest one out of all of these units. Um, so, again, he might be the most difficult one and the one I would recommend you guys start farming right now. And then going back to Krillin, uh, Krillin gets his um, Easy A medals in the Baba Shop in the Incredible Gem section. If, if you go there, you can see that there are um, Easy A medals uh, with the picture of Baba, uh, which the Baba Shop is named after um, on there. So, again, just get Incredible Gems, farm up um, Incredible Gems, because, again, you have to get Krillin and his medals both from... Uh, the Incredible Gems Baba Shop part of it. So, again, a lot of Incredible Gems are used in getting this Krillin uh, fully built up. So, anyways, uh, going back to his passive again, he has a high chance of guarding if he's the first attacker in the turn. He has a medium chance of guarding if he's in the second or third slot. So, again, realistically, you want him to be in the first slot. 
and then he reduces damage by 50% when guard is active. So again, kind of like the first form Frieza where uh, Frieza has guard and damage reduction when facing a Goku. If you can get this 50% chance to go off, uh, Krillin's going to be fine defensively. Uh, maybe not the best offensively, but again, defensively, he's going to be an absolute tank because again, he's going to have damage reduction, guard, and then 70% defense with easy A stats. And then next up is uh, this Piccolo, if it could load. Alright, so this Piccolo, um, I'm going to say it straight off the bat, unless you're a new player, you already have this Piccolo done. I would assume you do, because uh, again, it is the smart way to go. Especially if you're, you know, like starting up the game, the free-to-play units that have their own orbs, I would say, are the ones that you have to, uh, you know, get fully easy aid, fully built up, is the easiest and most uh, smart thing that you can do as a new, uh, as a newer player. But for those of you who do not have him um, easy aid and, you know, fully rainbow built up, farmed up, uh, this Piccolo has his own story event. Um, it is, I, I believe it is also the story event where you can farm up the, like, Ginyu frog um, item. So, like I said before, this guy has his own orbs, which is really, really convenient, where that you don't have to spend your own orbs in order to get him, you know, fully rainbowed and all that stuff. Because, again, all these units have to be rainbowed, SA level 15, um, all that good stuff if you want to actually take on the Frieza event. So, he's a Mechian's 3 key, 77% to stats, and also AGL 2 key, 30%. Um, he causes su supreme damage and raises defense by 30% for one turn. Uh, again, maybe not the best. I would I would have personally wanted to see maybe he raises defense th by 30% for maybe multiple turns. Uh, but again, this guy is pretty old, so back then that was considered to be very, very good. And then he gets 60% attack and defense, 12% uh, attack, and 2 key per rainbow key sphere obtained. And then he transforms or assimilates uh, when the conditions have started. So he assimilates with Nail starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle. So again, turn five, he basically has this little animation where he absorbs Nail um, on Planet Namek, and then he turn uh, and then he transforms into like Piccolo, but Nail absorbed. Um, after he transforms, I would say he's much much better, but not by a whole lot. So he gets 70% attack and defense. He recovers 30% HP. He changes AGL key spheres to rainbow key spheres, which is really nice. And then he gets 15% attack and 3 key. And he also recovers 18,000 HP per rainbow key sphere obtained. So again, he's very, very solid in his transformed state. But again, you know, nowadays he's really not that good. But again, still an overall decent unit if you're a newer player in the game. And then this Gohan unit. So this Kid Gohan unit, again, same thing, he has his own story event, he has his own orbs, so again, no orbs need to be invested in this unit because he already has them. Uh, he's Planet Namek Saga, 3 key, 77%, and then STR, 2 key, 30%. He causes supreme damage and raises allies' attack by 20% for one turn. And then his passive is 13% attack and defense per key sphere obtained, 7% attack and 2 key in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained. So again, he does take up a lot of orbs. Oh, I apologize for that. Um, he take he does take up a lot of orbs. You you want to give him a, a lot of orbs, and especially rainbow orbs if you want it if you want him to hit very very hard. Again, overall same thing. Farm him up, get him done. I would say the piccolo and the nail, uh, no not the piccolo and the, and the nail, but the piccolo and the kid Gohan are probably the easiest out of the two to get. Uh, with again Bardock probably being um, the second hardest. Again, we'll talk about the first hardest, and then Krillin. Um, he is, you know, difficulty, I would say, pretty mid. Uh, the only difficulty in getting him is that you do need to have a lot of incredible gems saved up for the, for the, um, his purpose. And then, then we go to this, uh, Kaioken Goku. So this Kaioken Goku got his easy A, um, with Lord Slug a while back. Again, both of these are free-to-play units from the Lord Slug. Uh, story event. Uh, he leads Prior Saiyans 3 key 77% to stats and STR 3 key 50% to stats. On his super attack, he greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy. And uh, I just want to say this um, I want to apologize if there's any background noises. Uh, my computer is acting up right now, so again, it's making this weird, like, hissing sound. Uh, and then going on to his passive, he gets 77% attack and defense, 3 key, and an, and an additional 77% attack and defense when HP is 77% or less, plus an additional 33% attack and a high chance of performing a critical hit when a Piccolo is on your team. So again, very decent unit. I would say he's probably the best out of the uh, free-to-play TURs that we have here. And of course, the last unit that you need in order to take on this uh, Frieza easy area is the 
uh, Prime Battle Goku um, LR, but he has to be Easy 8 SA level 25 uh, out of 25. So again, he is the hardest one to get just because, again, there are a ton of other units that you have to farm up Rainbow in order to actually get this guy, you know, do the easy area for him and get him, you know, Rainbowed and all that stuff. So he's Super Class 4 key, 90% to stats, and then Extreme Class 3 key, 70% to stats. On his 12 key, he greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. On his 18 key, he raises allies' attack by 30% and increases their chance of performing a critical hit by 10%. His passive is 59% attack and defense, 3 key, and an additional 59% defense as the first attacker in the turn, plus an additional 59% attack when performing an ultra super attack, and all allies 3 key when attacking extreme class allies or not allies but enemies so overall again this goku is very very good i did a showcase on him and he was hitting like four three million attack stats considerably and very uh consistently um i would go full additionals for him unfortunately i actually uh rainbowed him beforehand so i actually put crits on him not knowing that again on his 12 key he greatly raises it so that was my mistake and then finally the last unit we're going to be talking about is the man of the hour himself First form Frieza. So first form Frieza, uh, what makes him extremely good is not necessarily his leader skill, and it's not necessarily his super attack effects. It's his link set. So this force, uh, first form Frieza is easily one of the units with the best link sets in game. Um, ask anyone around. He's got big bad bosses. He's got thirst for conquest, strongest clan in space, universe's most malevolent, fear and faith, and metamorphosis. So again with these links comes a lot of extra attack and defense a lot of power behind it healing with metamorphosis so this frieza overall is just a phenomenal unit to have on your team um he's extreme class 4 key 90 percent to stats and super class 3 key 77 not 77 but 70 percent to stats and then on his 12 key just like goku he greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and then on his 18 key he greatly lowers attack and defense which is very useful uh, for super battle road so again, that's another great use that you can have for him there. And then his passive is attack and defense plus 50%, three key and an additional 50% defense as the fist, fist, as the first or third attacker in turn, and an additional 50% attack when performing an ultra super attack, and an additional three key when attacking super class allies. So kind of like the opposite of Prime Battle Goku, where again he gets uh, key if he's facing a super class enemy which Goku then gets 3 key if he's facing an extreme class enemy. Um, overall, again, this Frieza, very, very good. He's actually a unit I would recommend people to grind to level 10 links. Of course, don't overdo it. Don't waste your Dragon Stones. Just use your boosts. Uh, go to stage uh, in quest uh, 23, stage 8. I would say is the best way to level up links. Get this guy done. He actually puts up around 5, 4, 6 million attack stats. Um, again, there have been many showcases done on him when he first... Uh, you know, was able to be easy aid over on JP Dokkan. We could see him hitting those ridiculous numbers. So again, this guy is an absolute behemoth. I would totally recommend you getting him. And again, all the units that I just talked about are needed in order to take on his easy A or his easy area. Um, of course, with Prime Battle Goku being the most hardest one out of all of them, because if you do not have him, you cannot take on um, his easy area. Uh, and, and like I said before, Bardock is probably the hardest just because, again, the units that you can bring to his easy area are very, very limited. Most of them are not very good. Um, again, if you don't have the Team Bardock Giant uh, Ape form uh, members, again, it's going to be very hard taking it on with just the Ginyu Force. But again, it is doable. It is going to probably take a lot of turns, a lot of RNG, a lot of stamina uh, is what I'm finding out right now. So... Anyways, guys, that is going to do for today's video. Hopefully, you guys found this informational, and hopefully, this motivates you guys in order to get the uh, LR Prime Battle Frieza Easy Aid, Rainbow, all of that good stuff. Level 25, or Super Attack level 25 out of 25. He's an absolute behemoth. He's an absolute juggernaut. I cannot say how good he is enough. He is just that good. So, like I said before, that is going to do for today's video, and I'll see you guys next time.